Hi everyone and welcome to IJNet's tutorial on how to use certain aspects of Silk. Silk is a data publishing platform that allows you to create interactive visuals like charts, maps, and graphs, which you can later embed on your website. You can also create your own website using the service. It's free, but they do have a premium option, which allows you to customize your URL if you choose to make a website. So today we're going to make a simple map visualization using information from our Journalist of the Month. Each Journalist of the Month is from a specific place, they have a name obviously, and they're going to be giving us advice today. So first, after you sign up for Silk, you'll come to your dashboard. Now our dashboard is a little bit full, but yours will be empty, and you'll come down here to create a new Silk. So here it will ask you to name your Silk. One thing to keep in mind is that whatever the name of your silk might be will also be the URL that will appear up here in your uh, search bar. So we're going to name this Advice from IJ Nets Journalists of the Month. And as you can see, like I said, it will create a URL. So we'll click here on Create a New Silk. You'll see that it prompts you to import a spreadsheet. It can be an Excel file or it can be from a Google Sheet. So we've already created our spreadsheet over here. It's a Google Sheet. As you can see, each column has a category at the top. So name, photo, home base, and advice. Now this is just an example, but if I want my silk to be in a specific order, I would include a column that says number. Then if I wanted Pat to be first, I would number him to one. If I wanted Beatrice to be third, I would number her three. But today we don't want to use this, so we're just going to delete this column. Okay, so you're gonna come over here to share and make sure that anyone with the link can edit. You'll copy that link and bring it back over to your dashboard and paste it right where it says to You'll see that it's uploading the information now. And then every piece of information that you've uploaded from your spreadsheet will appear. You'll see that here where it says photo, it's just a URL. But we can change this to use as image. And now Amy's photo will appear. And so will everyone else's. Mustafa, Beatrice, and so on. Now you'll also notice that here under advice, it shows up as what we call a fact on Silk. But I can change it to a paragraph if I want to change the text or add a hyperlink or italicize the way that it appears. But right now we're going to leave it as a fact and we're going to come up here to start import. It will import everything from your spreadsheet and we'll click on show imported pages. So now we can see the photo of each person. We can see their names, the piece of advice, and the home base. Uh, if I don't want it to be Amy, Asha, Beatrice, I have to come up here to click on More. And under More, you can press Sort By. Now, it's on Advice from Journalists of the Month, and this automatically sorted it by their first names alphabetically. But I could sort it by advice, and then it will also do the advice alphabetically. I could do it by home base, and as you guessed, it could do it by the home base alphabetically. Now this is where, like I had said before, if you wanted it to be in a specific order, you would want to add that column in your spreadsheet. Right here, I would add number, and like I said, add one for Pat, two for Nicole, and so on. We didn't do that this time. Okay, so I want to leave it at sort by advice from journalist of the month, so it will be in alphabetical order. Now, if I don't want home base to show up here, I can just go over here to additional items and X out of home base. Okay, but I do want home base to show up, so I'll press add a tag and select home base. Okay, now as you know on Silk, you can create a grid which is what this is. Or you can come up here and click on grid and see all the other options. Table, list, groups, bar chart, donut chart, and so on. But today we're going to create a map. Now as you can see here, the map is empty, but it's prompting me to add a location. 
So I've already chosen that the location will be home base. And now I can see that each pin has the person's name and their home base. But I want to see their photos too. So right here it says show on pop up. I'm going to press add a tag and add home base, photo, and advice. Now when I click on somebody's pin, I can see the person's photo, their advice, and their home base. Now, maybe I'm done. I don't want to create a web page. I want to just embed it into IJNet. So I'm going to click here on Share and Embed. Click on Embed. And copy the embed code. Okay? Now on your website, there should be an option to embed onto the site. And we've already done that. So as you can see, here is our visualization that we've created through Silk. I can click on Mustafa and see his picture, see where his advice was, see his home base, just like I could over here on Silk. But there are a couple other options that you can do. You can save the visualization to the home page. And this means that you're basically creating your own website using this Silk visualization. As you can see, you can also add additional things like text, image, video, audio, uh, a Twitter profile, a file, or an additional video. You can do this all throughout and create an overall website that people can visit. Okay, but all we're doing today is just creating a simple map that you can use to place any data points that you'd like. So the nice thing about Silk is that you can add to your visualization even after you've created it. So as you know, on IJNet, every month we have a different journalist of the month, and I want to add the new one. So I'm going to come over here, and this month it was Juan Diswa, and I'm going to copy her name. And then down here on Silk, under Add More Pages, I'll add her page. Now I want to add the same information I did for everybody else for Juan Diswa. So I'll click on her page, and you can see that you can edit it. Uh, earlier I mentioned that you can upload photos from your computer and that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to click here, choose my photo or drop in the image. I'll type South Africa under her home base. Now I want to paste the advice back into Wandiswa's page like this. And you can also notice that you're able to add her Twitter feed if you want your readers to see that. You just need her Twitter URL or just simply her Twitter handle. You can paste it right here and press add. And then as you can see, her feed pops up. So we're going to come here to save page. And now, whereas there wasn't a spot for South Africa for a journalist of the month from the map before, we can see it now. Here she is. So that's how you create a simple map visualization in Silk.